horizontal position. So when it's time to load the rocket, which is processed horizontally, we don't build it like the shuttle or like some of the like the like the Atlas is built. We build it horizontally. So what we do is we roll this back to the hangar. And you've got the rocket, which weighs 30 tons, empty, lifted up. We set it down, and these arms open up. We set it down. We clamp it. We move it back up. We bolt it to the four fixtures you can see over there, and then we raise it up. And that's where it's in position to be launched through that little square that <coughs> wires up above. Grab some video. Obviously, we're now in the uh, horizontal integration hangar where the Falcon 9 spends the bulk of its life. So about 99% of its life is spent here in this air-conditioned hangar, and only does it go out to the launch pad on launch day when we essentially use these two 20-ton cranes to lift up the whole rocket and we drive that transporter erector that you just watched. Yeah, it is. You notice out at that launch pad there isn't a lot of uh, towers and vertical infrastructure. That's because the rocket's usually in here. Now what's kind of neat about this facility, I mean, the first thing you notice is it's, it's pretty austere, it's kind of purpose built, steel structure, you know, fabric vents. This is a uh, very economical way to process it. Each of these puts out about 100 to 120,000 pounds.